Shopping for food is difficult for Shah Wali Khan. The Afghan says he lost his hearing because he was subjected to years of loud blaring music while imprisoned in Guantanamo Bay. After spending 12 years in captivity without any charges, he was sent back home by the U.S. government. Shah Wali Khan used to be a farmer. He says he was handed to the Americans when Hamid Karzai was president because the Afghan government was paid cash for prisoners to fill cages at Guantanamo Bay. My brain stopped, and now because of that loud music, there is a constant beep and noise sound in my ears. And if I don't have this hearing aid, I can't survive. I'm not able to hear anything. Shah Wali and his brother were among 780 men held at the notorious prison in Cuba. Many accounts of torture have been reported. Some detainees have likened their forced feeding to rape. One of the tortures was to tie one hand up on one side and one leg is tied to the other side for three days and nights. You are not allowed to go to the toilet and they left a bucket. How is it possible to use the bucket in that stressed position? Then they would tie me up with the other hand and feet in an empty room take off all my clothes and shred my underwear. Then I was told to sit down in a very cold room. Human rights activists say the torment of detainees hasn't ended even after their release. Even our Afghan government, which has responsibility towards its citizens, unfortunately did not provide any assistance and detain again those prisoners who are set free from Bagram prison or Guantanamo. Shah Wali Khan and many other detainees lost everything they had. The Afghan government confiscated his land and refuses to issue a passport so he can travel for medical treatment. He tried to clear his name in the U.S. because he was not a terrorist, but his case was thrown out despite the injustice, illegal confinement and harm to his health. Two years after release from Guantanamo, he remains afraid to return to his village. Now, if I go back to my village, who will guarantee my security and that I will not be arrested again? They have taken my passport from me. I am asking, why have you taken my passport? Donald Trump is promising the opposite of the broken pledge by President Obama to shut down Guantanamo. Fifteen years after the prison opened, rights activists fear the torture and abuse, which many see as a threat to U.S. security, will continue for some time to come. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.